what would you want to uh what would you need to do if you wanted to make hardcore servers easily remove reses spirit healers and cables uh, yeah or you just remove the ability to res you remove like if once your character died it, instead of saying release spirit it would just say like you know you're dead kind of like how diablo works and then it would say uh you know log out <laughs> you know what i mean like it go you go back to the login s s screen and you have to make a new character right there's no opportunity for anything that's all it is it's just game over you know what i mean you died that's it so i think that would be the most ideal if you have ever played Diablo 3, Diablo 3 already has a hardcore mode built in. I'm, I think Blizzard innovated the idea of a hardcore mode in Diablo 2. Could be wrong on that. But, like, the technology and the idea and the foundation is, has already been made. It's not... Like, hardcore isn't novel. RuneScape has Iron, mode, uh, Iron Man mode. Path of Exile has hardcore. I don't know what it's called. Maybe just hardcore. Diablo, of course, has it. So, like, yeah, you, there's already a framework on how something like this would be developed, right? Um, for WoW, um, for me, for WoW, the questions would be um, more along the lines of, okay, so Blizzard isn't going to single-handedly review grief deaths. That'll never happen, right? Blizzard isn't going to be like, yo, um, let's, let's have a a death appeal channel where you can appeal your death, right? They're, they didn't do that with Diablo. There's no way they would do it with WoW. Millions of players. Yeah, right, right? Um, so my my biggest thing for them to get right on Classic is how to prevent people from being griefed. Okay, yeah, you can turn PvP off completely. Um, that might be a good solution. Or um, another idea is if you don't want to turn PvP off completely, you could add in like multiple dialogue except pop-up options. So if I were to go attack like a horde, um, you know, say like Peo is running by and he's flagged and I want a free kill, instead of fire blasting him, it would come up with like a second option window that says, are you sure you want to take this free kill on Peo? And I would just click yes. You know what I mean? But it would, it would, it would bring up a second dialogue box asking me if I did want to flag myself so that I had to click like, yes, I'm sure that I want to kill Peo easily in this instance. You see what I'm saying, chat? What about death by a giant dinosaur? Right, 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 right. So that's something else. How would they fix mob griefing? We'd have to all put our brains together and think about it long and hard. How would they fix mob griefing? So a hunter pulling a mob, feign deathing right on top of you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me think. There's got to be a way. Maybe you fix the way mobs de-aggro or something. Or leash maximums would be another good, like, decent idea. After 100 feet. 200 yard leash rule. Yeah. Something like that would probably be a pretty decent fix. Um, can't die from a tagged mob. Well, I mean, I think to some degree that fundamentally changes the game to feel different. Because if someone's running out of, like, the Fargo Deep Mine and has 10 people on them, and then they're all tagged, and then you press, like, Frost Nova, now you can't die because they're previously tagged? Like, no. Something about that seems wrong, right? But, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, if Blizzard isn't going to review deaths in an MMO, they have to make it so that griefing is pretty much damn near impossible. Now, here's the thing. Griefing is going to be automatically way less for the simple reason. If it's a hardcore realm, everybody has to be hardcore. It's not that some people are hardcore and some people are soft. Everyone's hard together. Does that make sense? So, with that pretense, there's not going to be someone at level 60 that is just going to be griefing because their character can die too. Their character can die too. Right now, the griefers, generally speaking, aren't playing hardcore. They're playing soft. So they're just kind of dicking around. You could say they're limping around. You know what I mean? And that that is going to be one of the biggest fundamental differences between hardcore official and hardcore with the add-on. And how they actually make that work, we don't know yet. But we'll have to wait and find out.
And then the other thing is, what rule set are they going to go with? I mean, we've talked about this many times on stream, but... Having no rules, I think... Like, if the only rule is you can't die... It's fine, but I think people are going to grief themselves by spam running dungeons and grief themselves by just grouping up on every quest that's even kind of hard. And for, in my opinion, the rule set that Classic Hardcore has is awesome. So if they copy it exactly, the question is how would they actually implement that in the game? Um, and if they want to add rules or remove rules, what are they going to do and how are they going to do it? Right? So there's questions to be answered for sure. But we'll have to wait and figure it out. Are we sure they're making a hardcore realm? So it was data mined um, a month ago. Hardcore realms data mined from 10.1 classic era. In Blizzard's interface source code for Dragonflight 10.1, there are new warnings implemented for hardcore realm selection, which was first noticed by Twitter user Meowrar and tweeted by Solania. Hardcore is a classic era community driven game mode where players delete their characters upon deaths. So here it is. Realm selection warnings. Function hardcore pop-up frame mix-in show realm selection. Hardcore pop-up screen. So this is what people are referencing when they when they say that when we get hardcore realms, this is it. It's like, okay, it's in the code. Hardcore is in the code, you know? So we'll probably be seeing it at some point. It'll probably be happening. The proof is in the pudding, chat. Here it is. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on up. We're going to traverse the land and start slaying some of these mountain lions. Careful for the guards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I almost ran into those guards already once. And then there's more guards over here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. Can I even snake past those? Oh. Ah, ah, okay. Okay. That's a... Uh, oh my... I thought that was a guard. I'm getting out of here, man. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm going this way. I'm taking the scenic route, man. No way in hell we're going up that road. Oh my gosh. Oh, I flipped around, dude, and that freaking troll rogue was trolling me, dude. Oh, uh, there's another quest up this way that I can actually get. But I'm just so scared to go towards Terran Mill. Those, those guards are level question mark. Maybe they're only level 45s, but still, that I could die like really quick to that. Will I do SM today? Um, yeah, probably any minute, really, because I'm 34. We probably want to hit, like, probably level 38 before Scarlet Monastery, so I could probably just hit up a quick four levels, fill a group, get there, and we'll be... Yeah, we'll be off before you know it, man. Bro, I can't believe Chadvix is leveling up on Yura, man. She. I think Peo is leveling on my realm, though. He is. Heyo Hardcore 15 Dwarf Rogue. Oh. I'm going to smoke that man in a duel. Bro, these mountain lions are being killed on spawn. The end of Snoopy. Wait, Snoopy just died? Snoopy's a multi rank one player. What what's going on here? He only made it to level like twenty. Just cast now. Bash cast. Roar. Bro, why are you in this situation in the first place? <laughs> Bear form. No. What no, are you guys? Yikes. Not like this. No! Bro, classic is too hard for multi rank one players. Snoopy's already dead twice. I've died. Savix has died many times. Peo has never been rank one. And um, I'm trying to think who else. Um, yeah, like that's rough, dude. She's. 
I think that the, the 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 difficulty of hardcore is just different. It's it's a different skill set. It's how long can you space in without spacing out? Because if you space out at the wrong moment, you can die to a level 15 Raptor in a hardcore Wailing Caverns tournament in front of thousands of people on the internet counting on you to crush the entire thing. The worst type of classic? Oh yeah, Snoopy is a multi rank one player. Snoopy's dead, bro. Wait, hold on, hold on. I need to go back. How do you go back on a YouTube short, man? How do you go? How do you go back on a short? I think. I, let me just refresh it. Parkour. He's awesome. Yo! Whoa! 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the moment, like. Dude, I can't go back on a short. Hold on, hold on. This Parkour. is this is the worst moment. Like, hold on, I'm gonna pause it. Dude, he's awesome. Yo, whoa. Like right here, he knows exactly how dead he is. But there's nothing you can do. That's why I would never go skydiving. Because God forbid this, there's a hole in your freaking parachute. There is nothing you can do. I mean, you could maybe launch your second parachute, but God forbid there's a hole in that one too. There is nothing you can do. Once you know that there's a hole, like you're... There is no nothing. It is out of your control. My brother is completing his skydiving certification right now. I need some positive energy. Oh, yo, I'm dude, he is gonna crush it, man. He is going to crush it. I, yeah, no, skydiving is, is actually one of the safest things you could do. I heard a statistic recently. It's actually safer to skydive than to drive. Um, so he'll be fine. Um, crush it. No, I mean, he's gonna, he's crush it as in a good way. In a good way. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna crush it. Like he's gonna slay it. He, the, the, the landing is gonna be smooth. All of it. And it's, it's gonna be safe. He's gonna be fine. Zaryu style. You're, you're listening to Peo. I can hear Peo in the background. I'm gonna mute it. That's fine. I'll just mute it. I'll just, I'll just listen to it muted. It's fine. Okay. You sheep one. You have a Nova on the other. You're fine. Your UI is looking all right. Pull out, I'd pull out the wand. A mystic spawns. I would probably book it. I would probably book it. You're booking. That's fine. You have health potions. You have your wand. You have your evocate. Everything's chill. There's no way you die here. You die here? What happens? Everything's under control. Oh, 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 the mystic, bro! Oh, you got a CS that or something. Potion? No potion. I would for sure... Oh. Another mystic. I mean, you could have potted for sure. Oh, you don't have counter spell yet because you're only 21, so no CS. Oh, bro, that's what I'm saying. When you're low level on a mage, it is so much easier to die. No counter spell. No mana shield. For a while, no blink. For a while, no Nova. Like, a low level mages are rough. As you get higher level on a mage, you get more and more tools. And it's kind of chill, but at low level, it is sussy, man. Yo, boys, look at that. Everybody just take a quick look at my, my map. On a scale of 1 to 10, how is that dopamine hit, boys? Oh. Oh. Graveyard, library, right now, a riot. Dude, you're the only one spamming that. That is, that is just you. That is, that is, that is, that is you spamming that. You alone. That is one man spam. And he plans to try retail tomorrow. No plans right now. Are, oh, is this a, oh, Amity. 
I got like five seconds inspect quick twitch primes by the way this guy knows i'm checking him out that's one of the coolest things about hardcore i remember when i started playing wow when you saw a high level character like this run by your jaw would drop i have that feeling back with hardcore man the fact of the matter is when you see someone like that go by you know exactly what they went through you know exactly every single thing that guy went through. He's He hit 1 to 60 on a pally without dying. He's been doing Molten Core without dying. He made a hell hundreds of gold to get that mount without dying. A verified hardcore player. What an absolute monster. You know what I mean? You know the, uh, the road he had to travel down. So I've shown this on stream before. But this particular island has a lot of memories for me. This is my character. 15 years ago. 15, 15 years ago. This is my character 15 years ago. In the same spot as right here. I uploaded to YouTube. My, my goal back then, 15 years ago, little Czar, was to be a YouTuber. If he could only look at us now, man. This was... This was me. 15 years ago. Yeah. Bro, I was 12. I was like 12 in this clip or something. Well, I'm 29. I was 14. I was 14 in this clip, dude. Look at this. Cracked. Yeah. Look at my UI. It's way better than my current UI. Yeah. Juiced. It's a juicy pull. Oh my. Oh, baby. That was me. That was me 15 years ago, chap. And now I'm on the same island. Um, I'll pull. Yeah, ah, I got it. I'm helping this guy. I'll just kill one of them. Honestly, I could do that, but I would... No, I can't. Guys, I can't. I need a mount. I need ice barrier to do that pull. I need a mount. I need ice barrier. I need four more levels, okay? We need a few more. I can't do that same pull right now. Hardcore streamer should quit streaming if they die. That would be really hardcore glitch cat. Nice, bro. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um. Is that a run? I, uh. That's, oh, fuck. I should've just ran. I, I, I'm gonna run. I got dazed. Rank one Kona cold. I, I get dazed again. Oh, fuck. Oh my, no! No, I'm running, I'm, ru I'm running. I was gonna kill him, the fuck that, I'm out. I'm out, 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 I'm out. That got the blood pumping. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I did. I pulled one Murloc. And then a second, third, fourth, fifth pulled. And then I was feeling good. And then I'm not feeling good. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm just going to quickly turn this quest in. And then I might quickly do these two quests and then kind of quickly run up here and then quickly fly down here 
and then quickly run up here and then turn the quest in and then, and then we'll see what's good just real quick it'll just take a minute bro i swear that's the thing that gets you addicted to classic man is everything it's just like oh yeah i'll just do that real quick and then it's just like six hours seven eight ten hours later i can still hear my mom like did you do your chores yet and i'm like oh sh shit I, I was just gonna do one more quest and, and then the quest had a follow-up I, I, and, then, and then it was on a timer, man. I couldn't, I couldn't stop there. And all my friends, like we were in a dungeon group, and I can't let them down. Other people are counting on me, mom. I can't, I can't come for dinner right now because my whole friend group is counting on me. You know what I'm saying? I can't just, I can't leave them hanging. That would make me a bad friend. So I, I can't do my chores currently because other people need me. To press polymorph so they don't die just pause it bro my parents would tell me to pause wow all the time growing up and i was like trying to explain to them like look there's other players like i can't pause it's like a it's an online world and if i try to pause and like it's just not gonna work and my dad would come in like 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 he did and he'd be like i know how to i know how to pause it and he he pulls the power he pulls the power and he goes how is that for a pause i'm just like ruined ruined man ruined like that that's how my parents paused world of warcraft dude rough he only did that a few times and because after that i was trying to explain to him I'm like dad you really can't like you can't do that because you're messing up my social you know, we have like a social responsibility in the game to treat other players with respect. And like, if I'm in a dungeon and you and you pull the plug, then I'm technically griefing other players. Then I'm the asshole. So you're like hurting my my um my social reputation in the online video game. And like, that's not good. And uh, anyway, he he finally started to understand that. So he stopped pulling the plug.